Good morning, Sarah. Today, we will be discussing a critical topic, heart attacks. It's crucial to understand the signs, symptoms, and preventive measures. Have you studied anything about this before? Good morning, doctor. Yes, I have learned a bit about heart attacks, but I'm eager to learn more. Absolutely, heart attacks are so prevalent, yet many people don't fully understand them. That's right. So, let's start with the basics. What exactly is a heart attack? A heart attack, medically known as a myocardial infarction, occurs when the blood flow to a part of the heart is blocked for a long enough time that part of the heart muscle is damaged or dies. Exactly. And what are some common risk factors for heart attacks? Well, there are several factors involved in the occurrence of a heart attack. Some common factors are Number one is smoking. Tobacco smoke contains chemicals that can damage blood vessels and increase the risk of atherosclerosis, hardening and narrowing of the arteries, leading to heart attacks. Number two is high blood pressure, hypertension. High blood pressure can damage the arteries over time, making them more susceptible to atherosclerosis and increasing the risk of blood clots that can trigger a heart attack. Number three is high cholesterol. Elevated levels of LDL cholesterol, often referred to as bad cholesterol, can lead to the buildup of plaque in the arteries, narrowing them and reducing blood flow to the heart muscle. Number four is obesity and poor diet. Being overweight or obese, particularly if combined with a diet high in saturated fats, trans fats, and cholesterol, increases the risk of developing conditions such as diabetes, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol, all of which contribute to heart disease and heart attacks. Number five is physical inactivity. Lack of regular exercise can lead to obesity, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and insulin resistance, all of which are risk factors for heart attacks. Number six is diabetes. People with diabetes are at higher risk of developing heart disease, partly because high blood sugar levels can damage blood vessels and nerves that control the heart. Number eight is age and gender. The risk of heart attacks increases with age, and men are generally at higher risk than premenopausal women. However, after menopause, women's risk catches up to that of men. Number nine is stress. Chronic stress can contribute to the development of heart disease by raising blood pressure, increasing cholesterol levels, and promoting unhealthy coping behaviors such as overeating, smoking, or excessive alcohol consumption. Number 10 is excessive alcohol consumption. Heavy drinking can raise blood pressure and increase the risk of heart disease and heart attacks. Number 11 is illegal drug use. Certain drugs, such as cocaine, amphetamines, and methamphetamines, can cause spasms in the coronary arteries, leading to reduced blood flow to the heart muscle and an increased risk of heart attack. You are absolutely correct. And it's essential for individuals to understand these risk factors and take steps to mitigate them. Prevention is always better than cure. Definitely. So, what are some warning signs or symptoms that someone might be having a heart attack? The classic symptoms include chest pain or discomfort, often described as pressure, squeezing, fullness, or pain that radiates to the arm, shoulder, back, neck, or jaw. Shortness of breath, nausea, lightheadedness, and cold sweats are also common symptoms. It's important for people to recognize these symptoms and seek medical attention immediately if they or someone they know experience them. Absolutely. Time is critical when it comes to treating a heart attack. The sooner someone gets medical help, the better their chances of survival and minimizing damage to the heart muscle. 
Right. And what are some lifestyles changes people can make to reduce their risk of having a heart attack? Adopting a healthy diet low in saturated fats and cholesterol, engaging in regular exercise, maintaining a healthy weight, quitting smoking, managing stress, and controlling conditions like high blood pressure and diabetes are all important lifestyle changes. Thank you, doctor. This has been really informative. I will make sure to educate my future patients about the importance of heart attack awareness and prevention that how various factors can contribute to the development of heart attacks. It really highlights the importance of adopting a healthy lifestyle and managing risk factors effectively. Absolutely, Sarah. Each of these factors plays a significant role and addressing them proactively can make a substantial difference in reducing the risk of heart attacks. I'm particularly interested in understanding how some of these factors interact with each other. For example, how does obesity contribute to heart attacks, and how does it relate to other risk factors like high blood pressure and diabetes? That's a great question, Sarah. Obesity contributes to heart attacks in several ways. Firstly, excess body fat can lead to insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes, which are significant risk factors for heart disease. Secondly, obesity is often associated with high blood pressure, as the heart has to work harder to pump blood throughout the body, leading to increased strain on the arteries and the heart itself. Additionally, Obesity is linked to high cholesterol levels, particularly elevated levels of LDL cholesterol, which can contribute to the buildup of plaque in the arteries. So, it seems like there's a complex interplay between these different factors, each amplifying the risk of heart attacks. Exactly, Sarah. That's why it's crucial to take a holistic approach to heart health and address all relevant risk factors. For example, losing weight through a combination of healthy eating and regular exercise can not only reduce the strain on the heart but also improve insulin sensitivity, lower blood pressure, and decrease cholesterol levels. It's fascinating how making changes in one area can have a positive ripple effect on other aspects of health. This reinforces the importance of comprehensive lifestyle modifications rather than focusing on isolated interventions. Absolutely. A multifaceted approach that includes healthy eating, regular physical activity, stress management, and avoiding harmful substances like tobacco and excessive alcohol is key to reducing the risk of heart attacks and promoting overall well-being. Thank you for clarifying that. Doctor, it's been incredibly insightful to delve deeper into the various factors involved in heart attacks and how they intersect with each other. You are welcome, Sarah. I'm glad we could have this discussion. Remember, as future healthcare professionals, it's essential for us to have a comprehensive understanding of these factors so that we can effectively educate and support our patients in making informed decisions about their heart health. Absolutely, doctor. I'm committed to continually learning and advocating for the well-being of my patients. Thank you for being such a valuable mentor. It's my pleasure, Sarah. Keep up the excellent work and never stop striving to make a positive difference in the lives of others.